Yeah, I guess it's a lot more. We're in Philadelphia. <laughs> Some people, a lot of people, are. <laughs> okay, um, so we have a train that leaves at 9.30 in the morning, arriving into Baltimore Penn Station at 1.49 in the afternoon or either 6.30 in the evening, arriving at 10.54 in the evening. Okay, and are you the only one traveling? So if you leave on the same day. Okay, 6.10 in the morning, arriving at 10.35 in the morning. Okay, or either 3.53 in the afternoon, arriving at 7.37 in the evening. Okay. That would be $81 round trip. Yes. <laughs> and you can book it now and we'll hold it for three days without a credit card. No, because we're not taking no information with credit card. It would just be me making a reservation and holding it for you. No, I'm not taking that information. Okay. Okay, and your last name? Okay, Miss Randolph, and your cell phone number, area code first, please. Mm -hmm. No, you, if you had to, if you're not going to travel on a day, it is good that you change the reservation. No, as soon as you know that, okay, that's not going to work because the earlier you make the reservation, the better. Being as though you're making a reservation two weeks or more in advance, you're getting a discount, a promotion that we're running, which is 25% off the normal fare, which brings it down to $35. And um, that's if you make the reservation two weeks or more in advance and it's available. Right. Okay, do you have an email address? Okay, no problem. And if the train was going to be late, did you want us to text you or email you? Okay. Right. Okay. You're welcome. Did you want the reservation number? Right, okay. Your reservation number is 993-656. Mm -hmm. And you need your photo ID, which is your driver's license or a state ID. You're allowed to have two carry-on luggages weighing more than 50 pounds apiece, standard size. And once you make a payment on the reservation, if you have to cancel, you have to give us a call 24 hours or more in advance to get 100% back. After the 24 hours, it's in a 10% All right. All right. And you're all set. All right, Ms. Randall? <laughs> so, no problem. Thank you for calling Amtrak. You too. Have a great day. That's the cheapest. Oh, my God. I got the reason. Amtrak, this is Keisha. May I help you? Thank you. Also, may I have your expert okay. I also would need verification security code on the back after 5892.
Okay, September 20th or the 21st. Lauren and Sanford. Okay, I can assist you with this. And you want a bedroom or a roommate? Okay, and how many people will be traveling? And are you going round trip or just this one way? Okay, are you members of Triple A? Alrighty. And that fare will be $795.60. No, they're sold out on that day on the 20th. On the 21st, they're sold out also. In my pleasure, and thank you for coming in back then. Okay. Amtrak, this is Keisha. How may I help you? Do you have anything with your um, name or name on it? Okay. So Bloomington Normal to Chicago. And this is for today, correct? Okay. And then you're returning when? Okay. And do how many people to show? Okay. And do you have any discounts? Trickle, I'm sorry, senior citizen or active military? Well, you're not traveling until the 16th of September. You can go to the Okay. I'm sorry, hold on one moment. So that fare would be $14. Okay. Are you a member of our guest awards program? You are a clown. <laughs> do you have a telephone number that you use when you sign up with guest awards? No? Okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> May I have your last name, please? <laughs> You're a clown. You're about to flip out. <laughs> As, I'm sorry, one more time. Okay, let's bring on in your cell phone number in case of any delays. Ariel Gold, first, please. And an email address. Okay, let me just go over that and make sure that I have that correct. Okay, J O J O M O N Y, the number two, at gmail.com. Oh, mommy. So M O M M Y. So J O J O M O M M Y two at gmail.com. Okay. And did you want us to text you or email you if the train was going to be delayed? Okay. And we need your photo ID, which is your driver's license or a state ID. You're allowed to have two carry-on luggages weighing more than 50 pounds a piece, standard size. And once you make a payment on the reservation, if you have to cancel, you have to give us a call 24 hours or more in advance to get 100% back. After the 24 hours, it's in the 10% fee. Okay? And which credit card will you be using this time? Okay, and I'm ready when you are. Okay. And the expiration date. And the three digit verification number on the back of the credit card. Uh, and the name on the credit card? <coughs> and your billing zip code on this ground? No. And the zip code? Uh, it's at 45426. Okay, and this is coming up then. And the expiration date is 1116. It's coming up at night. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, your reservation. If it's station, no problem. Your reservation number, are you ready? Okay. All right, I'll send a copy of this.
It's 9937. E as in Edward, F as in Frank. Amtrak, let's go. I got you. Edward. Yes. Okay. You're welcome, and thank you for coming, Amtrak. If you left at 7 a.m., okay, you're in. Amtrak, this is Katrina. Let me help you. Amtrak, let's go. And then you take the train from Christmas station. Yes, I may. May I have that reservation number? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, your last name. Okay. All right. No problem. And this is New York, New Jersey. I'm to Philadelphia. Leaving today at four fifteen. And first class. And may I have the email address? Hold on one moment. I'm sorry. Okay, L W R. Mhm. Mm well, you don't know what city you want to go to in Louisiana, sir. Okay, let me take that location. Okay. So L W O L N is an S E A N is an S E A N H L dot com. Okay, and that should be there within a few moments. All right. My pleasure. Thank you for coming in, Chad. You too. Bye. Baby, no. And Chad, this is Keisha. How may I help you? All right. May I have that number, please? Okay. And the last name on this reservation, please. Okay, Miss Webster. And this was supposed to be from Route 128 to New York. Okay, hold on one moment while I do that for you, okay? okay. Okay, thank you for holding. So you wanted to do an e voucher for the refund of the one eighty five, correct? Okay. All right. So now another email will be coming out. It will have the one way from New York to Route 128 on Thursday at 103 in the afternoon, arriving at 424. So it will have the up-to-date e-ticket emailed out to you that she can print out and present to the conductor on the train along with the email to number. All right? Sure. Um, that number is V as in Victor. 546-840-0000. Yes, she can. All right, thank you. Okay, what's your email address? N I C O L U T. Yeah, it should be over set to you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Bye bye. Your member? Amtrak, this is Keisha. Oh, All right, and can I have a last name on this reservation? No, Tampa, Tampa. Tampa. San, S A N D F O R. Okay, and we're traveling from way to where? What do you want to do? You want to make a reservation? And your email address. I do have a room at the room at Tampa. Okay, and this is supposed to leave today at 3.30 and returning tomorrow at 6.45 in the evening, all right? And you need to cancel this whole reservation? Okay, I don't mind that.
Okay, so there is a 10% fee for canceling the reservation today. That's been 24 hours. So we will have a refund of $138.70 refunded back to the credit card. That will take three to ten business days. Okay? Three to ten. You're welcome and thank you for calling in. Check a cancellation email is coming out to you with the receipt. All right? My pleasure. Thank you for calling in. Check. Amtrak. Amtrak, <laughs> this is for Shannon. May I help you? Okay, no problem. No way you're traveling from me going to. And what day does this for? Okay, and you wanted to leave at 2.40 in the afternoon, correct? Okay, and we had a fare is $54.40. All right, here you are, Mr. Barnes. Whenever you're at that That's okay, that's where the problem is coming in at. Does right. that fare is no longer available. That's why they're saying there's no more space. There's only a certain amount of seats at each fare. So, okay. Okay, and is this going to be a round trip or is just this one way? All right, and can I have the last name of the passenger? And their first name? Okay, and can I have Mr. Robles' cell phone number? Area code first, please. Okay. And an email address. Okay, so I have K O L O T C and I got time. Did you want us to text or you know the train was going to be delayed? Did you want us to text you or email if the train was going to be delayed? You want to pay for it now? That's what I said. Yes. And you need your, he needs his photo ID, which is his driver's license or his state ID. He's allowed to have two carry-on luggages weighing no more than 50 pounds of the standard size. And once he makes a payment on the reservation, he has to cancel. He has to give us a call 24 hours or more in the to get 100 to the back. Yeah, I'm <laughs> It's a 10. And now anything less than 24 hours is a 10% fee. Okay. And if he doesn't no show, he forfeit this amount altogether. All right. And are you paying for this now? Okay. And which credit card are you using? Okay. And the number? And the expiration date? And a three digit number. Right. What phone number do you have? What phone number do you have? Your phone number. Okay. And the name on the credit card? I can't Okay, and your billing zip code. Okay, and he's all set. This reservation number is 993 B as in boy, C as in Charlie, C as in Charlie. Okay, and the email is coming out. It will have the receipt of the payment and the e ticket that you can print out and present to the conductor on the train. All right? No, the e ticket. You are done. Thank you for calling.
These people are hilarious. Your senior over 62 or older. Amtrak, this is Keisha. I'm in the building. Okay. Okay. Can I have the reservation number? Mm -hmm. Okay, and a nice name on his record. Okay, and this is from a New York station of Washington on the 6th of September. And your first name is McKnight. Okay, because it wasn't changed. How did you try to change it? Okay, yeah, it wasn't changed, so this is now forfeited. No, once it's going. Yeah, uh, only only because it's the night. Like when you didn't get a receipt later on. You, you get what I'm saying? Like if you didn't get a receipt all day, you, you should have just called us back and we could have did something. We could have canceled it the next morning. No. Not at all. Yeah, well, I can't take it. Ham track. Ham track. This is Keisha. I'm happy. I love it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. That's okay. Go ahead. All right. So Okay. Whenever you're ready, I'm going to go see you the Reservation is 9 9. Number 3. Thursday. Letter B is in David. Okay, so you can change this by the patient. Um, the only thing is, is that the triple A isn't available. It has to be. Um, it has to be three days or more in advance. Okay, so you will have to pay regular fare. <laughs> it's two eighty eight. So you would just have to pay the difference of like eleven dollars. Okay. Okay. So what you will have to do because you already have the physical tickets, correct? Okay, so when you get to the station, I'm changing this now, and this will be made final. When you get to the station, um, you'll have to turn in those tickets and tell them to apply the difference because you still have, I believe, a remaining balance of 5220. Let me check that to make sure it's correct. Right. Yeah, right, and 20 cents. So they can apply that for the $11, and then you'll have a remaining balance after that also. Okay? So your reservation number is the way I'm saying it's the same. Okay? So you're all set. All right? You're welcome. I think it's only anti. You too.
right outside of your station. So it should be there. Um, it's supposed to be there at 10.30. So around 11.15. Okay. You're welcome. Sorry about the inconvenience. Okay. Thank you for calling your track, sir. Tell me something to do. Tell me. I can. Hey, this is Keisha. How may I help you? Hello. 